only thing we can be certain of today is that there will be great uncertainty even five years from now and that AI will be part of that. And if you come prepared to open yourself to those changes, you'll go away from here with a solid background to, to embark on your next steps. My name is Michelle Sisto. I am a professor I did at business school for over 20 years. I am a professor of data analysis in the MBA program. And I'm also the director of our new ADEC AI Center. We've revamped the entire core curriculum of the MBA to start integrating AI across the entire curriculum. Um, whatever role, whatever function, whatever sector our students are going to be operating in, they're going to be confronted with digital transformation on a wide scale and in particular on AI. The MBA students are introduced to the very beginning of the year with an AI bootcamp and they have an AI for business strategy course looking at a roadmap for a company. So when they come, they begin with the digital innovation and leadership course. So that's all about people. The second part is all about upskilling on hard skills. And then they'll spend their time getting into a very specific project with a specific company where they will have to come up with an AI solution for that company and talk about not only how do we create the solution, but how would that solution integrate into that company's processes and what would be the associated change management needs. Despite all of the, the, the incredible advances with AI, people do not get joy from having their tasks be done faster or having them be automated. So part of what we're trying to get students to think about is create interactions, whether it be in the workplace or in school or in your community, create very specific and proactive situations where you're just working on human connection. Human AI interaction, I think, is going to become quite common. One of the things we're trying in the MBA is avatar tutors. That poses tremendous ethical questions. We're also trying to start to measure that human-computer interaction and get their feelings about it and have our students think about those kinds of things. And then of course there's the, the EU AI Act and different regulations uh, from the US to China to the EU, very, very different approaches um, in terms of both legal and ethical uh, perspectives. So make sure our students are aware of that. When they leave the MBA, regardless of the, if, which track they take, we want them to go out with a mindset where they're valuing humans. Their view of the problem should not only be on the technology, but should be on what, if we go this direction, what does this mean for all stakeholders, for the people in our teams, for our external customers and stakeholders, and for the planet and environment. By coming to do an MBA, you will learn the agility that is necessary to understand how quickly things are going, have a certain comfort level with change, most importantly, you'll learn how do you interact with people across these changes. People from different cultures, people coming from different backgrounds, and how do you lead those people under situations of great uncertainty. 